Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and this is Heart and Hand Creations and Events. Tonight on my channel guys, I am going to show you how to make this bonnet DIY tutorial bonnet. It is with the, the long band so that you can double wrap this around your head. And it also has a uh, satin lining. And today, guys, if you want to see how I put one of these nice African print bonnet slash, what is it, the uh, surgical nursing bonnet, bouffant bonnet, you guys stay right where you are, and I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, guys, I am back, and what I have here is two pieces of material. Let me turn it on the wrong side here. Put the two right sides together. All right, these pieces right here are uh, 22 by 18 and a half. 22 this way, 18 and a half across here. Fold this material in half. And this is what you call making a quarter circle. Okay, so I already have my quarter circle cut out. This one here is a four is a ten inches, ten inches going like this. So it's folded in four, and then I take my chalk. Where is it? right here and I just trace out my circle then we'll cut this out So I'm only going to need one. This one will be for another hat, for another order. Place that to the side. And this bonnet here is going to be a satin um, lined. It'll be satin lined. And what I have here, this is one already cut out. Here's the satin piece. Alright guys, so the next thing I do, I just wanted to show you how I make the circle, quarter circle. Because I had this one all ready to work with. We're going to pin the satin to the printed. And what you have to do is make sure that the two right sides are facing together. I also need to create an opening where I'll be able to flip this inside out because once I pin it, I have to sew it around, close it up, but I'll leave open at the top. Move this out of the way. Right here, I'll leave this space open so that I'll be able to flip this inside out. I'll show you what I mean as I go along. So in the meantime, I'm going to pin it up and I'll be right back. You know, what I wanted to show you guys is how I pin this satin and this print together because the satin is, is slippery and the material will shift around. So what I do is I start off at the top where I'm going to have my opening at to flip it around. And then I just put a pin at 3 o'clock. I put a pin at 9 o'clock. And then I pin it six o'clock. And this keeps the material 
in place. So I'm just finished pinning it up. All right, I want to come back and show you that I'm making on this. My bonnet is uh, is my circle is folded in half, an even half, and what I had to do is make a a dart right here that I'm going to cut out. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna hold it in place. This piece of material right here. I'm gonna cut this out. Just like that. And this is how it'll look. This right here. Have a V right here. And so what I'm gonna do now guys is go over to the sewing machine and sew this around and I'll be right back. All uh, right, now that I have sewn this all the way around, I left the opening here so that I can flip this inside out. And this is sewn all the way around. Now I'm gonna turn it inside out. This is the fun part. And this is the part where I make sure that the seams are pulled out and in place even this out all the way around and just get it nice and flat like that so i'm going to iron this out and i'll show you what i mean guys as you see here it's ironed out nice and flat this is what the satin side looks like and the end where I had opened it up had it open to flip it inside out I stitched this closed it tight with the um, with the stitch a single stitch real as close to the edge as I can get it okay Maybe you can see it better on on this side here, the black side, I mean the satin side. Yep. So next, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start um, putting the pleats. You know, find the middle, and that's how I did this. You get the middle. And then I'm going to do my first pleat right here. And I'm going to pleat in the same direction all the way around both sides. This is about how big my pleat is, which is, uh, what can I say? Let's measure it because I just usually eyeball it. And this is a half inch. So I'm going to be pleating a half inch all the way around. And I will be pinning it in place and what I do is I take the material and I wrap it around this part of my finger to about right here I pull my finger out and that gives me that half inch and I just create this pleat all the way around let me do it again And this is what I mean by pleating. So I'm going to continue this all the way around and I'll show you what it looks like when I come back. Alright guys, here it is all pinned up. So I made myself a measure. Put my little Velcro on it. And <laughs> this right here 
is 22 and going outward all the way to 26 and starting at 19. So we're going to go with, I'm going to go with 22. See how I measure it out. Oh, this is perfect. I'm not going to do it anymore. See how this looks? That's good enough. All right, guys. So next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to, well, what I need to do now is to sew this around and show you how I make the headband, which also turns into the um, straps. It's like a headband slash strap. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, right here I have two yards long of material, which this is the tie and combination headband. So what I'm doing is, um, this is um, 36, 36, which is makes it two yards. Then this piece right here. is seven six and a half inches so I just fold it in half and I'm gonna iron it so that way I don't have to pin it and I'll take it over to the machine turn it inside out and show you guys how I put the band on all right now I'll take it over to the sewing machine and I'm gonna sew a seam straight down. All right, I have my bonnet turned inside, turned into the right side, turned right side out, satin side in. I take the middle, find the middle of the front, which will be the front, which will be the front. This is the back. We've created the back. Now we need the middle of the front where I will attach the right side because I folded my band in half and the right side is out and the, the wrong sides are facing each other but we're just going to take one layer one part this part right here is going to go to the middle and we're going to sew this all the way around but I'm gonna to have to pin it because this again I'm always talking about the material shifting so I'm gonna pin this down around and I'll show you what I'm talking about turn my light on here all right and this is what I've done like I said I have pinned down the band with the right side in so that way when I get ready to turn it over to sew, oops, to sew this part down let me sit this up so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about there and the bun, mm, the bun, <laughs> the bonnet will be like this, as such. Once I finish the straps, here it is, it's coming together guys, it's coming together. So I'm just going to finish sewing this around, sew the pleats and the band in place at the same time. What some people do is, they sew the pleats in place first. Then they come take the pins out, and I see why because I, I'm I'm getting stuck a lot, but not real bad. But I'm still being pinched by these needles. But I would just rather do it like this. That's too much back and forth on the machine for me. So I'll take them couple little sticks and and skip that one extra step. And that's it. So I'll be back. I'll stitch it in place. I'll come back and show you. This is how it looks after I have sewed just the band around the section around the, the head where the band goes. 
Now what I have to do is take this seam and iron it down all the way down along with this seam all the way down and these two seams will meet together like this around the band all the way to the end so I'll be doing this from this end around the bend around around the band of the cap and to the other end all right this is what I mean I have the ends or the edges nice and crisply fat flat <laughs> rather crisply flat and this is how wide the band will be. It has uh, a slanted end. And this will be sewn all the way around. And this will cover right over top of this. Like this band, hem, or seam will cover that stitch all the way around and down. Be right back. Oh, got y'all a little bit lopsided there. Sorry about that. All right, guys, and here we are. Here is the finished product. This is the back. The ties. The lining. The stitching in the lining from the inside. This cap can be worn on this side if you wanted to. How about that? There we go. It's up to the person that wears it. That's almost like beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And, yep, that's it, guys. And this completes my tutorial DIY for the Nursing Scrub Surgical Bonnet. Bouffant Bonnet. Uh, I guess I'll try it on. It's not going to look the same on my hair as it will with somebody whose hair is already down. But... Let's try it out. Trying to grab the ties good. This comes around. You can wear this like wear it like this to make the um not a turban, but uh, what do you call it? A head wrap. Yeah, without having all of the material to wind around your head. You just do one of these numbers. But anyway, I'm going to try something else here. One more thing. I'm just going to bring it around. Trying to straighten it up. Well, here we go. Something like that, guys. And most ladies would be wearing them down like this, like so. Yep, just like I don't know. Just if you check out my Instagram, Heart and Hand NJ, you'll see me modeling one another one that I had just finished so I don't know what it's looking like around the side let me check it out all right well because my hair is all up on the top poofied up on the top it's going to make the cap fit differently so just imagine and I don't have a lot of hair so 
if um if I was making one for somebody with a with more hair, it would be a custom made one like I made for a friend of mine. You can see his. And this is what it looks like. This is the back. Okay, if you guys like this video slash tutorial today, let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up for a like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you guys will know. And don't forget to share, guys. But anyhow, and that's it. Alright, guys, so... I'm not sure what the next video will be, but there will be another video, and I'll see you guys then. Until then, bye-bye.